Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're out here in the beautiful state of Tennessee, Memphis, I believe, about a seven and a half hour drive for us from South Carolina. So we left at two in the morning and we're here now to get this beautiful 2014 Jayco. So we're planning to drive it home. There's some good and bad we could see already. But first of all, it said run and drive on Copart, so I'm feeling pretty confident. No, yeah. no it didn't. I'm pretty sure it did. It didn't no, say it didn't. Oh, wow. Okay. That, I feel less confident now, Ivan. So. I mean, the good thing is how much we bought it for. So we yeah. got a really good deal on it. Really good deal. So our budget room is really big, you know, because if you start high, then you can't really too much room. But so far, it was a great deal. Stay tuned. We're going to reveal the price at the end. But let's check out the good, the bad, and see if we get this thing going home for another long road trip. We love doing this kind of stuff. So I mean, not as long as the one I did. But yeah, that was definitely a lot longer, but this is way worse damage. So This but, time you're driving, I'm chilling. Hey, we're here together. It's te team, you know, team, tag team. We'll get it. But let's look at the good and the bad items. Check this thing out, what we bought, and what are we got ourselves into. Because I thought it was running dry. Oh, boy. All right, guys, so looking at the good, right away, that front glass is solid. So that is already $3,000 to $5,000 that you don't have to replace. So that is awesome. Super happy about that, because who knows? It looked okay in pictures, but it could have had a fracture somewhere kind of thing. So that is a great deal that it is together. So moving on, this is our regular Ford V10, little gasser, pretty standard. We actually have like two of these engines laying around. So hope we don't need them, but that looks okay. This is the good side on this right here. Besides the busted glass. Glass, little fiberglass, but yeah, this is the good side. We got a little bit of damage right here on the door. No big deal, we'll get it home like that. Tape up the glass. Nothing, that ain't bad at all. Ain't bad at all. A little missing a little handle right here. It's got like a custom exhaust pipe right there. Look at that chrome. Yeah, what is that? Is this for the generator? No, that's that's the engine. That's the engine. The generator's right here actually, so we can probably open this up. Oh, there's a little. Yeah. Nope. No generator? That's cute, right? That's locked. Maybe we'll find the keys inside and go through them, but it has a little exhaust right here, so. Look underneath, is it there? Oh, it goes all the way down to that compartment. <laughs> so another literally, compartment. Literally, yeah, loops all around. So th like I said, this is the good side, and so far it's looking okay. They go slide out right there. Supplies are really close and loud, but this is like not a small one like our Acer that we had before. This These are like bigger than the little flat nose, the other yeah. full glass, but this is as big as the one I got from California. Wow. No, maybe, maybe it's a little shorter. Smaller. I would say it's smaller. It's not as big a medium, a good medium, right in the so middle. So better gas mileage. Hopefully, we'll see. So hopefully all this is closed. We'll get it strapped down. Let's go around to the bad side. So right away you can tell the back glass is busted. It's kind of crazy, a lot of glass is busted. I don't know why, maybe. I mean, maybe they're trying to get out and then they shifted and cracked a lot of stuff. Who knows? But main thing is our tail lights are there. So we have brake lights. We got little curtains back here. Stuff the gravel and rocks, I guess. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe grounding strap. Who knows? But up there, the lights are missing. The little the little caps are gone. But they should work. Ladder. We'll find out later. Ladder, maybe not so secure. I don't know if I want to go up on that, but you might have to. I might have to. We'll see. Let's, Let's keep, keep going. going. Yeah. So moving on to the damage side, we can tell our awning is already gone. Hey, that's not a bad thing. You don't want to lose it down the road. So it's already off, whatever. A lot of compartments here. A lot of stuff's locked though. So we'll definitely check that out. Find the keys. The other one. Yeah. Must be an airport nearby or something. But it's FedEx. FedEx, commercial. Um, yeah, let's keep going. So this back side, not so bad, I would say. Yeah. Pretty and good. so far all the wheels look good. Yeah, that's There's air pressure. And then here's the big damage. So I don't know, maybe something hit it or a tree or they bumped off something. But check out that indent. It was strong enough where it broke off the aluminum welds. Yeah. Look how weak that is. I mean, that is just a little spot weld. Overall, they're not that crazy structurally sound. So yeah. it probably wasn't even that crazy of a hit, but definitely impacted something up high. And then this door took a hit. So, so let's go on the inside. Yeah. Wow, guys. Okay. Uh, first impression, not so good. You got not so good. Drawers coming out, glass everywhere, parts just hanging around. Wow. But it smells good. It's not bad. Probably yeah. like air ventilation. But look Open at that. Windows. Like it busted right there. Wow. Boom. 
Yeah, so what, what kind of, what does this work on? I guess hydraulics maybe? Because there's no cables up there. Yeah, there's no, there's thing no right motors. Here. Yeah, what in the world? So it's on the bottom maybe. So we got nice two slide outs, but. All these drawers came out. We're going to have to, look at that. We're fixing it already. Look at that. Another one pop in. But, but the most important thing is we've got to see the keys, put some power to it and see what's going on. Because it did say mechanical damage. What the? All right, I see keys. They're in the wheel sub. Should be fine. Let's try to get over there somehow. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting layout. So there's like two couches right here. Pretty Together? Cool. Who knows? AC. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh -oh. definitely a hole. We're missing the AC. See, it's all good. We're, we're good at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Maybe we'll see it laying around somewhere. Or it could be gone. All right, made it to the driver's side. Um, definitely a lot of wear on the seats, the cushions, so they probably put some miles on it. But again, again, I've seen it with low miles and already kind of worn out, so. This, this material is really not the really nicest. Last a lot long, surprisingly, for how expensive it is, so. All right. Plus, so. we don't know the miles, nothing like yeah. that. This big old curtain. No power. No power. We're good. All right, let's get the jump box and we'll try it out. Yeah. All right, we got power to it. 20,000 miles? Is it? Yeah, 20,000. That's too high. Let's leave it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not bad at all. I mean, it could have been 200,000 miles, right? But let's see, it's, let's see if it starts. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that, guys. Started right up. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm sure it's been sitting here for a long time. Here, turn it off. Let's uh, check the oil. Yeah. You sure let it run a minute? All right, check the oil. I had. No I mean, we ch we done. checked the oil before we started it. Yeah, yeah. Because we already bought it. Well, let's so. recheck it after we started it. Yeah, we wanted to warm. Yeah. And hot cycled. <laughs> Take two. Okay, so the oil is good. The drive shaft is actually hooked up to it, so he's steering. No. Okay. All right, so it's running. Yeah, that's great news, guys. Started right up, and we're going forward. It is running dry by, but look at that. It wasn't posted, though. Wow, so that is awesome. Huge win. So we got the keys. We're still letting it run, kind of thing. Make sure it's warmed up. But let's go check the compartments. See what we bought. See what we got. I mean, we haven't checked deal. the back of it yet. Yeah, let's go see what's over there. I don't know. We're so excited. Woo. Oh, refrigerator. Refrigerator, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, do it. I'm backing away. Oh. Yeah, that's be a lot of fun. Oh man. Let that air out. Let that. Woo. Whew, I smell it. Okay. But back here, just the glass is broken. I'm not gonna take any naps anytime soon. Out here, are you? No, we're just gonna straight shot home. Yeah. Maybe go to Lowe's first and yeah. uh, fix it up a little bit so we can not lose anything. Secure it down, windows, sides, strap it, all that fun stuff. But yeah, it makes sense. There's a bed there, there's a bathroom here. Pretty nice. Bathroom's actually nice. Though. Check it out. Pretty cool. It's pretty clean. Nice little, neat little bathroom. Pretty big. Yeah. All right, let's check out the outside. All right, guys, a lot of fun, actually. It's kind of like storage wars. You bought a locker, you have no idea what's inside. So we got the keys. Let's go around and... Is there a TV? Should be, right? Or like... outside kitchen. This right here, I would say TV. If I can find the right keys. There we go. There we go. Wow, TV. we got a TV. Wow, is this a cool little section. Look at that. Speakers, you got plugs. We got a... Water bottle. Something. Carpet. Nice. Pretty cool. Look, look at this little pouch, Ivan. That's fancy. Wow. Nice. Auto Somebody is, it, it even had like a maybe DVD player earlier. Probably, yeah. That's pretty cool. Locked up. Still there. Let's go around. See what else is behind door number two. All right, guys. So this one's actually unlocked, and we got power cords here. Converters. Um, a little, little sketchy looking, but yeah, that's really nice. It's got a little. Is it 30 amp or a 50 amp? 30 amp. Well, you sure? Cause that's a Pretty thick cable. Probably 50 amp. Probably 50 that's amp. That's 50 amp. That looks like yeah. 50 maybe converting. And then this stays with the camper, so. That's, that's nice. good because mine was stolen and they're not cheap. They're always, yeah, they're like $200. It's crazy. This, this one's good. This is our water line area. Yeah. Let's see if that locks. That's not bad. 
back down later, whatever. The generator, that's what we're worried about, the generator. Keep going. Yeah, who cares, yeah. That's sewer, who cares? Yeah, maybe the same key, but... There he goes. Nice. There she is. 50 amp, yeah. Yeah, I think this thing right here is, what, $2,000? Easily. Easily. So That's nice. pretty much almost half of what we paid for this thing. I mean, calm down. At the end, guys, we'll reveal the price. Really good deal. Really good deal. But yeah, this is a big win again. That's what I'm talking about, the exhaust. It kind of goes right here and it goes all the way around. I guess because the bedroom's in the in the back, you don't want to hear it. Maybe. So. I don't know. But that's great that it's still here. 2019 oil change. Oh, yeah. that's. It's only been like three years. But only 20,000 miles on it. I'm sure they didn't even use that much. So, all right. So that's awesome. right now to get some more supplies get it strapped down a little better slash taped up for our big old journey head home but overall super happy super stoked that started and looking good let's hit the road brake lights are working just fine And we're here at Lowe's. Honestly, it looked good. How was it, Ivan? How was the first drive? Oh, it's good. We drove great. Yeah? Straight. Check engine lights turn on or anything? No. Nothing? It's good. AC is blowing. AC it's is working because it's like 102 degrees out here, guys. It is some crazy heat wave going on. Yeah, but uh, let's get the supplies and uh, fix it up. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, got some supplies. Got our step stool right here, big blue bucket. Got our fixer and our window. Less than fifty dollars. Make it happen. Let's go. Window repair. On the fly. On the fly. We we'll get it. All right. Just like that, we got this glass done. We got the mirror in. It's still working. This side's looking good. The front's looking good. And I also taped up this window. A little bit quieter. I mean, the AC unit is missing. Can't do nothing about that. Don't feel like climbing on there. Also, we taped up all the drawers. I think we're ready to start hitting the road. And uh, yeah, let's see how it does. Go in the gas station, fill her up, probably get some food, and make Michael drive. All right, guys, so looking good. We went to a basically local Mexican place. I don't know if it's chain or not, but it was really good. So we are refreshed, feeling good and positive. Honestly, that could have went really bad and I'm happy that it did it. So like I said, it started, we're good to go. We got it taped up, we're feeling good again and let's go hit the road. We got an eight hour road trip ahead of us. Yeah, a lot of work. We're not out of the woods yet, but let's keep going.
All right, guys, so we just drove about 30 minutes. It was low on fuel, so we pulled over, we got some gas, and so far, so good. You know, Flying J, you know, it's part of the road trip experience, so we're out there, we're fueled up, and we're gonna hit the road. So hopefully no surprises, and we'll just take it slow, and keep going. And I mean, so far, well, I went 60, it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it looked great, I mean, that looked smooth, you know? If you look at the driver's side, it looks fine. But for the passenger side, definitely got a big old dent in it. But it's got the aerodynamics, you know? Yeah, yeah. No big deal, but let's just keep going. Safe travels. All right, so there we got it. We've been driving. Now we're filling it up, and the gas over here is cheap. 316. Tires are looking good. Everything else is looking good, except the window, we gotta retape that. It's been flapping around. But other than that, not bad. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Fix that, tape it up a little more. But not too bad. Let's get some drinks and get, keep going. Alright guys, what a road trip again. Like I said, we left 2 in the morning and we just got back and it is 12 o'clock at night. So another 24 hour road trip kind of thing. But hey, we're back safely. That went really smooth. Only one little hiccup when that's with the car that we're towing again. Wow, but I'm happy that everything was safe. Everything worked out, but it's super late. So make sure you stay tuned in the morning. We're going to talk about how much this thing cost us, getting it out, all the fuel, everything, all the cost, and how much it costs to bring home. So yeah, see you in the morning. All right, guys, so it's been a couple days. We feel more refreshed. Definitely was a road trip, 24 hours on the road. But hey, honestly, really smooth, and we are very thankful. But let's talk about the price, how much we got it for, how much it cost us to bring it home. So the winning bid was $4,600, which I think is a steal deal. But like, if you look at these pictures, it looked really bad. No miles, mechanical damage, not running drive, interior smashed, sidewalls destroyed. So yeah, I mean, that's why we're so cheap, but it was like the best case scenario. Started right up, drive shafts in there, no check engine light, low miles, and we drove home. So that was blessed. I mean, it doesn't always work out that way, guys. It could have been a three day adventure, <laughs> honestly, because we broke it down before things fall. I mean, you never know. Even with like new clean title cars, you have issues sometimes. So this is, we're very happy with it. It came home, um, basically, like I said, 4,600. After the fees and a little bit of gas, a little bit of lows, we're less than six thousand dollars. So five thousand eight hundred or something like that ended up being so under six k for twenty thirteen. That's not bad. So I don't know if we're gonna use this for parts or we gotta fix it. But yeah, I mean, I mean for just a front clip, that's, yeah, that's money right there. Generator, all the stuff kind of adds Engine, up. Engine, so. transmission, powertrain. It still drives and it has a title, so that you actually can get this thing registered. So if we repair it, we get it back on the road, have a salvage, rebuild title, but. It's definitely possible. I think it's a great deal. I'm super happy about it. You know, it was a great road trip. We won it cheap and it worked out okay. So I don't know when we're gonna get to, like you said, who knows, but 
Leave some comments down below, guys. Thanks for joining this adventure. You know, coming tagging along. Make sure you subscribe, turn that notification bell on. We'll probably find some new projects. Things are always playing, and who knows where we're gonna get? Some small, some big. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time.